Okay, example two, the box and whisker plot shows the scores made on the final exam by 150 students. Find the range, median, mode, and mean of the scores. Describe the distribution of the scores. So, this is kind of a trick question because we can't find all the stuff they're asking us to find. So, what's the purpose of the problem is, is to give us an idea of what we can find with this. So, um, the range requires me to know the biggest and smallest number. Do we know that? Yes. yes. Absolutely. The biggest number is 100, right? And the minimum number looks like 55. So the range is just going to be 100 minus 55, which is 45. So if we're asked to find range, box and whisker plot is sufficient to help us find that, right? Next thing on is the median. Do we have enough information to find that? Nope. Yeah. Absolutely. The median is just the quartile 2 score, so it's 80. All right. And I also know the median of the first half of the data, which would be 74. Half the scores lie below 74, the other half lie between 74 and 80. And yeah, 95 would be the other one. So um, a quarter of the scores lie between here and there. So, and then, so that's doable. How about the mode? Anybody know what, what score happens the most? Don't know. Cannot determine. You can't determine the most frequently made score because. We don't know the actual scores. Even though Q2 is 80, 80 didn't have to be made either. Maybe 79 and 81 were made, so 80 is the halfway point. I, I have no idea what anybody made on this test. I know somebody made 100, somebody made a 55 beyond that. I don't know anything. That's bad. Finally, the mean. Okay, there are 150 students, right? That's good. What else do we need to know to find the mean? All the numbers I The total score, right? Do we know the total score of all the tests? No. no. So it cannot be determined. So as far as a box and whisker plot is concerned, these are the two central tendency measures we can find with it. Um, mode and mean are not possible to be found with it, unless you happen to have a list of the data too. In that, in that case, like if they gave us this along, like if it looked like, like here's a box and whisker plot, maybe. Let's not let me move. Well, pretend, pretend to hit the arrow when we went back to the other one. We had the list of data along with that box and whisper. We could have found that stuff then. As far as the distribution of the score is concerned, I can tell that my board's this red thing means I can't write or use my board anymore, so I have to put this down. I'll just verbally state the distribution. 25% of the scores lie between 55 and 74. 25% of the scores lie between 74 and 80. 25% of the scores lie between 80 and 95, and 25% of the scores lie between 95 and 100. When it says describe the distribution, that's how you do it. 25% lie between this and this. 25% lie between this and this. Because that's all this is telling us. If, again, if I went back to that other page, which I can't right now because my computer being hard to get along with, um, you would see that first three, um, the first three salaries were in this whisker, the next three were in this, the next three in this, the next three in that. So, um, each one's a quarter of the data lies in each of those regions.